just from the uh, couple days I've used it, I can say it's been really useful to have uh, in class to record, take pictures. Um, you know, there's a lot of times where a teacher's saying something, I know I'm, it's a lot to write down and there's a good chance I'm going to forget it, so if I can just hit record, uh, it's really helpful, I can play it back later. So that's, that's been nice. Um, another thing, you know, sometimes you're working on a worksheet and there's something you can't remember what it means, you know, history class, maybe, maybe an event you don't remember, or a date you don't recall, you can just real quick Google it and it'll pop up right in front of you. Uh, in just seconds, so that's kind of nice. It just, you know, moves things along faster rather than having to open a textbook and find something out, you can get stuff done faster, so that's nice. The battery life is pretty low on those, so I, I, I mean, I don't know if it could get through a whole day of class without, um, without dying or needing to charge, so uh, that's it's kind of frustrating, um, but other than that, you know, I think they work the way they're intended to. Um, you just, it's kind of a process of learning how to use them. You, you're you going to get from it uh, what you put in. If you try to make it a distraction, it probably will be, but that's applicable to a lot of things uh, in a high school classroom, you know. High schoolers can make anything a distraction, so if you're, you know, responsible with it, if you're respectful of others, I really don't think it would be. I think it's uh, going to have more benefits than it will downfalls. It was kind of cool that it hooks up to your Google account, so you know, all the stuff you say on the glass, you can look on your computer later, which you know, it's easier than having a computer in class. Uh, you have to carry it around, it's something that can go right on your head, small, mobile. So. It's pretty cool, pretty cool piece of technology. The reason that I got involved with Google Glass is because I started a Google Immersion Classroom last fall, and um, mostly in my English 10 classes, but I also started a hybrid course for creative writing. And at that point, I decided to do more of a Google Immersion experience. So my students, um, we worked it out so that we started with 10 Chromebooks and ended up um, we've ended up now with 20 and are waiting on five more from the instruction office, at which time we'll have um, 25, which will be one-to-one. -one. Um, in all of that then, because I was so heavily immersed in Google, I saw um, the information and the news starting to come out about Google Glass. Google Glass uh, was fascinating to me for a lot of reasons. You know, we read a lot of literature about um, the future, like 1984 and Brave New World and those types of things, and I thought, wow, that'd be kind of cool to see something like that. In the process of um, actually looking at Glass and what, the, what it could actually do, Mrs. Barnes, who is one of our technology people, uh, came to me and said, hey, Andrew Vandenhubel wanted to know if there's anyone in Forest Hills who would like to use Glass. And that's really how I got connected with Google Glass. And so that was very exciting to have the opportunity. I knew him, I knew that he would trust me, and to give it to students, to see what it would be about, to see if it would be something that would be useful in an, in an educational setting. Um, you know, with new technology like that, you never really know, is it going to be useful for kids? Is it going to be useful for education? And the, the educational market is really where it's at with regards to glass because that's where they're going to make a lot of their money. If, if um, schools start to purchase class sets or even sets of 10 or whatever of these and they can truly be useful for education, then it'll be exciting. Um, however, it has a lot of problems. It has a lot of glitches. The battery life is low. Um, it can go low and it goes low very quickly. The more video you do, the and the more pictures you take, the, the bigger the struggle to keep the battery going. So you have to have a battery pack right now with it. Um, you know, sometimes it can become cumbersome. Other times, you know, what teacher wants a kid to be speaking out loud and saying, okay, glass, look up, blah, 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 right? On the flip side of that, a lot of teachers don't like phones in their classrooms. But yet students like to record what their teachers are saying in the class, or they like to take video of a, of a lesson. And what better way to do that than on your face? And so instead of getting out their phone and holding up their phone, you know, doing this, they are actually just watching the, 
watching the lesson and then take and then recording it and it goes right into Google Plus and then they can watch it whenever they want when they're reviewing if they're sick um, they can have a friend take the video if they're sick and they want to watch it in real time they can have a friend wearing glass and they could actually do it in a hangout so you know watch the lesson through a hangout so there are a lot of different reasons why glass could actually be really really useful in education and there are a lot of downsides to it as well so there are some things that google can do that hopefully will um, enhance it for an educational setting and in doing that then um, it will provide students and teachers with a lot more opportunities and you know, a lot more incentive to actually give it a go at really using this in the classroom. If you ask people 10, 15 years ago, you know, what is the cell phone or what is the tablet going to do for classroom learning or why would you put a computer on teachers' uh, desks or why would you have computer labs, you know, maybe 20 years ago people were saying that, but now could you think of a teacher not having a laptop to show their slideshows or to help with uh, show, you know, delivering lessons, quality lessons. Could you imagine somebody not being able to pull out their iPhone or, or any number of uh, cell phone devices in order to um, look something up? I have students all the time, if they have a question, I say, hey, listen, how about you inquire about it and, and, and find something? So, you know, this tool might, uh, 10 years from now, might be that thing where we can't imagine life before.